Thank you, Jared. Now, this dangerous situation is raising questions about the safety of underground gas mains across southern New England. So we went digging for answers and found out gas leaks are not as uncommon as you may think. Our in-depth coverage continues now with Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell. The most recent stat available is from 2015. That year, there were more than 2,000 gas leaks in Rhode Island. Hundreds of them required immediate repairs. This incident Wednesday night in Providence was a type 1 gas leak. By definition, it had to be fixed immediately. It's scary. I couldn't even sleep last night. The scene may not always look like this, but we found out there are thousands of gas leaks every year in Rhode Island. We requested data. Here's the breakdown according to a National Grid System Integrity Report. In 2013, there were 2,252 gas leaks in Rhode Island. In 2014, 2,753. And in 2015, 2,292. The report shows in 2015, 913 of those gas leaks were labeled type 1. Remember, that means they have to be repaired right away. Type 2s aren't as serious, type 3s aren't hazardous at all, and don't require repairs. We're spending $100 million this year, and we're going to get rid of every piece of pipe out there, leak-prone pipe, in 19 years. We also checked in on civil penalties related to natural gas assessed by the Rhode Island Division of Public Utilities and Carriers. According to data from the agency from 2000 through 2016, penalties for code violations totaled almost $950,000. With the Target 12 investigator Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.